keep those questions coming. For training programs, meal plans, and coaching, make sure you check out khpfitnessandtraining.com. What's going on, my fitness seekers all over the world? KHP Fitness here. Anytime I get questions, I like to put those out first because in the past, I've definitely neglected those via time restraints and everything I had going on. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I really wanted to go ahead and push this out first before I made my other video, which is a wild video. I'm gonna go ahead and push that later on in the week so I can give full attention to this one. Now this comes from a subscriber when it comes down to this video asking me, how did I stress and force my leg with the bands? I wanna go ahead and read their question, shout them out as well, because I think it's important to engage. Now this question is from Rocket Weapon 7895 I'm dyslexic, people, so please bear with me. Hey, I have a question. How did you exhaust, stress out your legs with resistance bands? I'm working out for 10 months with bands only, mostly dead upper body. I switched from working out five times to working out three times per week, splitting body parts and focusing on main lifts. Smart man. So I can more often hit legs. I do have a stepper from the step and some J-hook handles. So I do squats with the handles on both sides. I'm familiar with that form too. And up for the deadlift. I'm familiar with that too. I have that on the actual video where I do the squats and well, I also do the deadlifts, but it does take a toll on your hands. Doing front squats, the issue is my nervous system, breathing, heartbeat is being exhausted before my legs are. Makes sense when it comes to that grip handle. That makes a lot of sense. That's why I hold the bands on the side for the, of the handles instead. It also feels weird sometimes. So if you have grown legs from just bands and progressive overload, how did you do that? Greetings from Germany. Appreciate that, man. I got people coming out, man. I'm getting international on this stuff, huh? I appreciate that. Rock weapon, let me explain. I wasn't sure if I was able to go ahead and build legs with them, but I was able to build them up after an injury. And everybody knows about my injury video. You can check that out too. At the end of the video, showing movements that I did when it came to the lunges, the squats, which I mimicked like the leg press, the weighted lunges from the band on the platform. The platform really helps. It's something that I use to this day when it comes to building up the legs. In the form, I actually showed what I was doing, but I was it was like a demo. So with that demo, I was actually speeding through. And with me speeding through, you didn't get to see the proper tempo that I use. With bands, the tempo is a little different. So what I wanted to do is demonstrate with the bands on the movements I do exactly how I do them. And if you're liking this video, you know what I want. Oh yeah, you know what I want. Go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, and let's get into it. What I want to go ahead and show you first was the leg press. The leg press, I did relatively quickly on this one. What I did with the leg press is I went ahead, demonstrated how it would be when it was coming to how the leg press would be in the gym. Same kind of movement, squat down, have the band on your back for the force. But if you see on this video, I'm going a lot slower and to add some extra to it. And you see the size of this band too. It's a really, really thick band. And with that band, you can also, if you don't have a super thick one like this one, which you can get on any website, just type in XXL bands and they'll go ahead and give you something similar. You can add them up, put your X lights and your heavies and all that, but you might need more than just a couple of bands for this one, depending how strong your legs are. Growing your legs is not easy and the tempo really matters when it comes down to movements like this. Going down for a nice and controlled tempo, three to four seconds down with a pause and a one to two second up, will add so much force to your legs that the body has to grow them. And there's different engagement points. And they always talk about with bands, the reason why a lot of people give bands so much slack. They give bands a lot of slack because the, the engagement point in the beginning is not as much force. And with weights, you get a lot of engagement when it comes down to that. So what I always tell people is that you wanna get into the engagement part of the movement. And as you get into the engagement part, then you can lift into it. Then you, you go down towards still engaged instead of disengaging and going too, too low. And that will actually grow the muscle. And that's what I figured out when it came to bands, man. Second move, the lunges. I was doing this one relatively quick too. So what I will do sometimes is I will make sure I lunge backwards 
pause on the lunge. And then as I pause on the lunge, then I'll come back up or I'll do pulsing lunges. Pulsing lunges really force the leg to isolate. You get some glute action in there too, but it's really gonna put a lot of focus on the quads. And as you lean forward, you get more glutes, or if you lean back, you get more quads, but you can definitely stimulate the two as you go slower. Same thing, nice and controlled on the way down, and then one to two seconds on the way up. Not, not pausing at the top, like a lot of people get that rest. You wanna go ahead and drop it right back down to it to keep the stimulus on there. Same thing goes for hamstrings. You wanna make sure that you are squeezing at the top, get to the engagement part, and you're squeezing at the top of the end movement, nice and controlled on the way down, and control it throughout. This is the tempo. Calves, it all applies for the same thing. As I was going through the movements, you wanna squeeze at the top, nice and controlled on the way down. That's how you get the most stimulus, because the body doesn't know the difference between weights, and it doesn't know the difference between the bands, man. All they know is stimulus. And if you're able to provide enough stimulus, typically around that six to 15, eight to 12, six to 15 range, if you can get stimulus within there, up to 30 reps. But if you press for time, go ahead and lift a little heavier, you'll definitely feel it. And I have definitely been feeling the way I've been training when it comes down to it. So I hope this helps. I just wanted to go ahead and make this quick side video for the subscribers, people who are watching the videos. So Rock Weapon, appreciate you dropping in, man. I appreciate you giving me a little bit more content to put out to the people who probably have been asking the same question. Other than that, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. As I said before, hit that thanks to support the channel. Show this to all your friends. We're gonna keep this ball rolling, man. I've been working, 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 working. If you are interested in meal plans, training programs, please indeed reach out to kbfitnessandtraining.com. I'm always around, man. I'm available seven days a week. I try my best not to stress myself too thin, but I know we gotta keep this ball rolling. Until then, guys, take care of yourself. It's not where you train, it's how you train. Bands definitely work. Bands work. Yes, sir. And I'll talk to you soon.